Reverend, what is our oh, awesome proportion? Partner B, tell partner A, how do you know this is not degrees? Go. <laughs> Sophie, how did you know that this is not degrees? It says rad and it doesn't have a degree symbol. Good. Sounds silly, but it's going to catch you guys. So I'm going to put this where, class? Where it says radians. 7 pi over 8 divided by 2 pi equals degree over 360 degrees. Class, what do we do next? We're going to cross multiply. So I'm going to have 7 pi over 8 times 360 degrees equals uh, 2 pi times degrees. All right, what did you guys make uh, this one? Over 1, so make it a fraction. Okay, now what? What did you turn the 8 into? Does 360 have a factor of 8? What is it? Yep, so 8 times 45, and this one is an 8 times 1. And over here I just have 2 pi times degrees. Let's cancel here. <coughs> cancel. Then I'm left with 7 pi times 45 degrees over 1 equals 2 pi times degrees. So now I can divide both sides by 2 pi. So dividing both sides by 2 pi means the 2 pi is in the denominator. Over here, this will cancel. Okay, this is how you know you're doing it correctly. Class, does degrees have pi in it? No, radians does. Does that make sense? So you know on this side that they will what? They'll cancel. And you can just put this into your calculator, 7 times 45. And then divide my answer by 2. Degrees equals 157.5 degrees. Raise your hand if you got that. Can I clarify any questions? What's the question you have? Correct? I multiplied 7 times 45 and then divided my answer by 2. Let's try another one together. <laughs> Class, what is our awesome proportion? So now I'm putting the, where it says rad, 4 pi over 15 over 2 pi equals degrees over 360 degrees. 
Partner A, tell partner B, what do we do next? Brenda, what do we do next? Don't multiply, but what do we get there? <coughs> So now I have 4 pi over 15. 360 degrees divided by 15 is 24. So 24 times 15. See what I did? Just put in your calculator. Can't see the screen. Uh, can you see it now? Nope. Uh, what I did in my calculator is I just did 15 goes into 360 24 times. And I have 2 pi here. So we're going to cancel out the 15s. We're left with 4 pi times 24 equals 2 pi times degrees. Divide both sides by 2 pi. My degrees are going to be, that's a 2, right? So you're left with 48 pi. And cancel out our pi's. So 2 times 24 is 48 degrees. Raise your hand if you got that. So here are two examples of converting from radians to degrees.